Bond to MI6. Coming, Bond. I need extraction now. This is Tanner. The ETA to extraction is nine minutes. I haven't got nine minutes. Find me a way out. There's a plane on the far side of the field, fueling for takeoff. Hey guys, welcome to part nine of Let. <laughs> part nine. Um. Welcome to part 5, let's play GoldenEye 007 Reloaded. In the last part, Alec died. That's very sad. So now we're on, this is this game's version of Runway. So, if you remember before, hold on, I should have read that tutorial. Something to do with my phone? Ah, whatever, who cares. Um, am I sure of these? Not sure. Yeah, if you remember, if you played the original GoldenEye, this was a, it was meant to be like a hectic level. Like, I think that's what they were going for, but it was the N64, so it could only be so hectic, you know? <laughs> but with this one, it's the future, it's shooters are all about explosions and escapes and badass stuff and killing everyone. So they went all in. And honestly, I think it's great. I think it was just the right way to go. Like, you know, you gotta, you, if you're gonna have a stealthy game like GoldenEye, then you gotta have some contrast. And I think this was a good way to do it, you know? We spent two levels of pretty tame, just hanging out, whatever stuff, hanging out, boom! Explosions! Okay, here we go. Nice. And I, well, you get an AK as well, which is awesome. An AK with, I think, an ACOG scope? Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, ACOG scope. Nailed it. God. I wonder, with first-person shooters and Call of Duty in general, whatever, I wonder how much people actually know about the military now, or just military equipment anyway. I'm not, I'm not going to turn around and claim that, you know, every 12 year old that plays Call of Duty is now a military expert, but you know, I think people are more aware. Like, I had no idea what an ACOG scope was until I started playing Call of Duty, but I know they do exist and I could probably recognize one. Maybe. I don't know. This is kind of a weird brag that I'm going on. Aha, take that, and, oh! Explosions! That's the second time that's happened! Things can't just explode and kill you in one. See, this kind of, with that sort of mentality, that kind of exposes Eurocom amateurness. That's not a word, but how kind of amateur they are when it comes to certain things. You know, they're not the most, they're not tight. The gameplay that isn't tight, unlike Call of Duty. I'm going to start talking about Call of Duty, I think. I'm going to start pronouncing the T in Call of Duty. I'm not American. Call of Duty. Um. Alright, off we go. What was I going to say? I was going to say something good and positive. I don't know. But yeah, also, this is kind of appropriate because this is how the James Bond films start, you know? Like, I really like it, especially in the Pierce Brosnan ones, where the beginning of the game is like. James Bond is on a secret mission, and then, oh no, James Bond does something crazy and now everything's exploding. I'm thinking mostly of Tomorrow Never Dies here. Uh, I really like that, and I think it really worked for everything or nothing, and it really works for this game. Wait, can I get underneath here? Oh, I can. Okay, don't blow up truck, do not blow up. I think I'm going to have to blow up this truck myself. You know that they can blow up because they have that little red box there. So if you see that little red box, then you should probably just stay away. What if there's anything else here? Hmm. Why is that door coloured like that? That looks like I should be able to do something with that door. And look at those bullet holes! They're so golden eye. They're so golden eye. Look, they're 2D. I don't know if that was them being cheap, but they're 2D bullet holes like in golden eye. I really don't know if that's them just trying to save money because of course this was a Wii game so you could only do so much technology wise and then for the HD remake or the HD port all they really did was turn it into HD so I'm curious if they did that on purpose because if they did then that's really cool. If not then that's accidentally really cool but they still kind of suck a bit. So also this is um, the first case of if you were playing this game in 007 Classic with health it's a pain. I haven't tried out myself, and I probably should at some point, but it's. It, I can imagine this would be a pain. Because look, bullets just hit you. They're stray bullets. I mean, yeah, you get the radar, so you can actually be a bit careful. But look, that guy just hit me from all the way over there, quite happily. I don't know, I shouldn't talk about a mode that I haven't really played, but... 
on principle, I stand against it. Or maybe that's because this, the action sections are the side like Call of Duty, and the the way I play that game is run and gun. I'm a run and gunner, you know. Even during single player as well, I just run and gun. I just go in, and you can because you can mow most enemies down. Although on veteran, you really just gotta hide behind a rock and just hope for the best. Okay, area clear. Nice. Okay, off to the next area. Also, oh, these doors open, but oh, whatever. I'm not too sure what this area is. Oh god, I gotta go. Open, open. Oh. Oh, I wasn't <laughs> doing that bad. The health thing is a bit unclear. I won't lie about that. Because when I'm damaged, there's they didn't want to do like just a blurry red eff effect. Wanted it to be more like Golden Eye, which is why there's like. A blood splatter that shows up, but it's really like because it's solid blood. There's not that much of it. Oh, fool! That that's not right. Really, this was a stealth section. That was a potential stealth section. Well, gee whiz, I guess I messed that one up. Is this one a potential stealth section? Oh, it is. You didn't see nothing. That's an odd time to put in stealth. This whole level is supposed to be like wham bam, kill everyone, ma'am. So that's an odd time to put one in. Okay, I, I went up here because you would assume something would be here, but no. Apparently not. Apparently it's just... It's just an upstairs. There probably is something in there, I just completely missed it. I know what you're thinking, James. I know what you're thinking. If you pawn that bike, then you can get some plane tickets for cheap. Yeah. Oh, this is so cool. Because in the game, in the original game, didn't get to ride a motorbike. In this one, you totally get to ride a motorbike. I mean, you can't... There's the bike, and it makes no sense. You're pretty much just floating. But still, you know... Oh dear. Come on, <laughs> make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Nice. Oh shoot. Come on! Okay, another stealth section, it looks like. Oh. Well, who shot the pilot? We didn't. I didn't shoot at the plane. I was shooting at the guys. So somebody just shot the pilot. Even though only James Bond is here. Odd. Ah, oh, well, the day is saved. Away my six. The base is destroyed. 006 is dead. I'm sorry, James. Save it. You knew the risks. What about Ordomov? Unclear. I want you to come back to London, Bond. No. That helicopter, the picture I sent. It's a Ludmilla T1. Specially modified. EMP hardened. Throw everything you've got against Ordomov's connections. We need to know. Who needs a helicopter that can survive an EMP blast? We'll get right on it. Bond out. Oh, there we go. That is airfield complete. It, why, I don't know why it's not called runway. You know, it, it should be called runway. So, uh, assuming how we still got some time left, let's move on to the next mission. Whatever it may be. Can't quite remember, that's why I'm make, trying to make it suspenseful. MI6 to Bond. We've discovered that Urumov has been receiving large cash transfers that trace back to a Nigerian shell corporation known as the Janus Group. Moreover, he made a phone call last night to a Russian gangster named Zukovsky, looking for an EMP-hardened helicopter. The Russian operates out of a nightclub in Barcelona. The local police have a mole inside, a Sergeant Garcia, who can make the introduction. Zukovsky's only known physical characteristic is a terrible scar across his right cheek. This Zukovsky. First name, Valentine. How do you know? I gave him the scar.
Okay, well, here we are in a fancy nightclub with some horrible artwork. Ugh. I'm sure that's a famous picture or meant to be replicating some famous, but ugh. That stinks. Um, or art in a nightclub. That's not appropriate. So you would have noticed there that there was the big swoop like behind into Daniel Craig's head but it wasn't there in the last two levels that's because it does it at the beginning of every mission not at the beginning of every level because this game is split into five missions each with um, levels in between them I think about three levels maybe not all the time but aha uh -huh, uh -huh. we get I was in layer cake I'm coming in can't stop me oh okay Bond, you can use the face recognition app on your smartphone to locate Sergeant Garcia. Thank you. Oh, take a while stab in the dark why there was a phone section there. I just can't imagine why in a Wii game there would have been a phone section. It's bananas. Uh, can I use my smartphone? Can I come in? Oh. Like your necklace. I'm just gonna... Oh. If I only had my laser watch, I could cut down this and go in. But I don't get that until the train level. I think, I can't remember. Yeah, my phone's better than yours. Oh! Okay, let's scan him. See if I can find out his, uh... Sorry, not oh... I guess I'll have to do the mission. It's not easy being a spy. You come to a lovely uh, nightclub and then uh, you just gotta do some scanning rather than uh, hitting on some ladies. Okay, so I think you move at about the same speed with the smartphone as you do without it. Yeah, this is what I do when I go out. I'm in that pit. Half of them look naked from here. It hasn't, I don't think they've rendered them quite properly, so people here look fine, but everyone in the back just looks like they're naked, which isn't good. This game's only a 16. Alright, well, I now have to... We're trying to find someone. Oh, hold on. Excuse me, there's a one bottle minimum. Finest Russian quality. Only available in Moscow. Not bad for a counterfeit. Perhaps you should tell your boss. The real label is a darker shade of blue. Querida, we are waiting for our drinks. It's been a real pleasure. Enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs> oh, James. Did you catch that? He looked at his ass, or look at her ass as she walked away. Oh, James. Um, let's do some scanning. Right, so, him? Okay, that, well, let's just do some scanning anyway. No! Let me through. I don't understand these sections. Like, in this game, this section is fine. But in 007 Legends, it was ten times worse. And this this has some of the same problems. Wait, is James dancing? I think James is dancing. Oh, Daniel. You're always a character. God, well, I don't... You don't have to dance just because you're on the dance floor, mate. You can just walk through it. No one's gonna... It's fine. There's like a whole big back area. Okay, right, well that's... I'm not too sure who I'm supposed to be scanning. But the game is giving me some red dots, so I think the best thing to do is... Okay, you... no... God, this could take forever. You... Def... there is... no, no. But did you see that? I think um, Alec appeared for a second on the scanning thing. No. Where is this guy? I am not a very good secret agent. I don't know why they are. Oh. Okay, I've got to scan everyone here because if I have to go all the way round again, then I don't want to have to come back. No. See, I just just let me. I just need to get through. I don't. I just. Uh, I don't know why they re restrict your movements like this. It seems a bit bizarre. Like, just keep this whole area open, you know? Because now I have to go all the way back on the dance floor and James is going to start dancing again. I think he's had one too many martinis. Is it you? Is it you I'm looking for? Yes, it is. Sergeant Garcia. Sigue me, Mr. Bond. Will do, Skip. Yeah. 
To be fair, she was like one of the only people not dancing here, so I probably should have known it was her. Or the fact that I have played for this game before, I probably should have known it was her. Oh well then, well let's do the traditional James Bond thing of uh, checking out the goods. Yeah. James Bond is a pervert. It's a shame that James Bond being a pervert isn't as charming as it used to be. It used to be hilarious and like, yeah, good man. But now it's all like, oh, oh James. Un momento. I needed that prick. God, I can't even run in this room. Come on, go. <laughs> oh, darling, I swear I could never look at another woman. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Bond, give me one reason shouldn't press this button and bring my men up here to use that tuxedo for target practice. You could, but why waste bullets when you've got an EMP weapon? Wait here. Bring me a drink. Follow me. The girls have ears these days. To what do I owe this unpleasant visit? Your phone call from Automolf last night. What does the Janus group want with an EMP-hardened helicopter? <laughs> Do you expect me to just turn the other cheek? I could always provide you with a matching set. Come in, my dear. I'll tell you the same thing I told the general. Go to the arms fair in Dubai. He did it. He killed Zukovsky. Well, that certainly took a turn. Well, anyway, with that, I'm going to end up the part. So next time in Let's Play GoldenEye 007 Reloaded on the 360, we're going to uh, chase after that woman and uh, kill some bad guys. So I've been Honest on 23. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.